Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and tonight we're at UCLA's Royce Hall for the 44th Annual Annie Awards. Congratulations. Thank you. It's an amazing thing happening now, yeah? What is that morning, or it probably was evening for you if you were overseas, what is that like when finding out you're nominated for an Oscar? Uh, well, it, uh, it was a great uh, moment. Uh, actually, I was in, in my bed, and uh, when I saw my, the, the name of my film, I got all the emotions, uh, crying after that, laughing after that, crying again. But uh, mostly it was very good for my daughter. She was at school and I called her and she told me, oh, I knew we were watching with my friends and uh, all the school uh, was bursting in uh, excitement. That is awesome. What a great moment to have that memory it together. It is. It, it was. What were the biggest challenges uh, for you working on Blind Vesha? Uh, well, the challenge was to finish the film because we have uh, many obstacles at the beginning of the film when uh, my first initial producer uh, got uh, went bankruptcy and we almost lost the money that we got from the French side but everything after that turned uh, perfect and uh, the film had a very nice uh, life on the festival circuit. We won more than 25 awards around the world, more than 120 festivals. And now any award nomination and uh, Oscar nomination and Canadian uh, Academy Film nomination, so it's continuous. What an incredible accomplishment. Do you have a favorite moment in the short that you just think, that is exactly what I set out to achieve? Yeah, my favorite uh, moment was uh, when uh, there is a scene, a very happy scene, when the witches are dancing. That's my favorite moment. And I met many juries and everybody was telling me, yes, we love that moment. Uh, it was a lot of fun to do it. Oh, that's fantastic when you know that moment's resonating with the audience as Absolutely. well. Oh yeah, the audience was responding very often to my film. As usual, as usual I was winning uh, jury prize awards and the audience prize awards and the kids Jury's Prize Awards. Well, somehow the film resonates with the audience as well, not only with the professionals. But professionals are very important, you know, I'm very happy. So that's why I'm here. Oh, I love that. And I have to ask you, do you have a dream project, that next project you would love to work on? What is it? The dream project that I'm working is the, the project that I'm working right now. It's always like this. It's, uh, it's going to be, I, I always like, like the things which are coming which I'm doing right now. Can you give us a little sneak peek? Uh, it's a film which is called, uh, it's a medium length film, it's uh, called The Physic of Sadness. Uh, it's a film about the memories, our memories. And as I'm immigrant, Bulgarian immigrant in Canada, it also talks about the life of immigrants, uh, the roots that you're losing and the objects and the memories. That's it. Well, I'll tell you, it's a very important topic right here and now here in the States. I know. I guess, and I know that uh, we are going to win. Everything is going to be okay. Well, I'm glad to hear that, and congratulations on all of your accolades. Have a great night. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite animated film of the year was Zootopia or Kubo?